I am Isabel, one of the bioinformaticians here at Glasgow Polyomics. Today, I'm going to show you how to perform a metabolite extraction on two cell suspensions, A and B. First, we need to decide how much material we need for one sample. Generally, we found that a 5 microliter pellet extracted in 200 microliters of solvent provides enough material for most applications. Determining how much material generates a 5 microliter pellet is visual. Pellet various quantities of cells and compare to 5 microliters of water in an Eppendorf to determine what volume of cells is roughly equal to volume of water. At Glasgow Polyomics, we've worked with a number of different cell types and can help you determine how much material you're likely to need. Here are some examples of cell numbers required for common cell types. Before we start extracting the samples, we need to prepare our equipment. Cool the centrifuges to 4 degrees C. Prepare the solvent, usually chloroform, methanol, water, in the ratio 1 to 3 to 1 and place in an ice bath. If your samples need rapid cooling or freeze-thaw cycles, prepare a dry ice ethanol bath. Now we are ready to start. Step 1. Cool cells in the dry ice ethanol bath, mixing vigorously to prevent freezing. Place the samples on ice. For cells that are large enough to count, you will cool a volume with a set number of cells known to produce a 5 microliter pellet. Step 2. Centrifuge the samples and remove supernatant. You may wish to wash your cells at this stage, but please note that washing can interfere with metabolism. Step 3. Transfer the pellet in a small volume of liquid to an Eppendorf tube. For bacteria, you may normalise the cell number here by optical density. Step 4. Centrifuge again to remove all supernatant. Resuspend in 200 microliters of your extraction solvent and vortex briefly. Step 5. Prepare a blank sample of 200 microliters of extraction solvent and process it alongside your other samples. Step 6. For many cells, you can leave the suspension on a shaker for one hour at 4 degrees C. For bacteria, you may need to perform freeze-thaw cycles or use glass beads to lyse the cells. Yeast will also need glass bead lysis. Step 7. After cell lysis, remove protein and cell wall debris by centrifuging at 13,000 times G for 3 minutes and transfer the supernatant to a screw cap tube. Step 8. Create a pooled sample with an equal volume of material from each sample, ensuring a minimum final volume of 500 microliters. Step 9. Store at minus 80 degrees C. There are many variations on this basic protocol that you may wish to make, but please always ensure that your cell pellet to extraction solvent ratio is the same, as this is the only reliable way to normalise total metabolome content between samples. And remember, if you have any questions, just get in touch and we'll be happy to discuss protocols with you.